Hello everybody, what's going on? Jerome here and welcome to an awesome episode of Shell Shock Live! And in today's episode, we are going to be going ahead and doing something a little crazy. We put on six times health and chose a, a pretty decent opponent anyway. He's about the same level and everything like that as I am. And we're going to go ahead and try and win in a heads up battle. Now keep in mind, 600 health is absurd. That That is... That's way too much health. Uh, so this might take a little bit of time. Right now we're doing a little bit of gauging where things are at because, you know, we got a lot of attacks we can use. We don't have to have a super heavy hit recently. And there we go. Look, look. That's 85. So we got to move our target over a little bit. And oh my god, he must have high tracks. He's level 75. He's, he's technically, he's a higher level than we are. Um, but, you know, it doesn't mean too much. After a certain point, that doesn't matter that that much. All right, so we're getting kind of close to him. That dang giant thing definitely messed us up, but that's fine. What we'll do is we'll hit him with a ghost bomb this turn. Uh, sneak that one in there. Just keep on gauging where it's at. There we go. Oh, and we got a 60, a critter. And I think we're actually technically winning by a little bit. We have 168. He's 120. Wow, we're still up by 40. I thought he had us, uh, had us by a little bit because it seemed like he had a really powerful attack. But I think we're doing all right. Now, here's the question. Oh my god, I could probably quicksand right on this dude. What the heck is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? What the heck? That's like better than tadpoles. What even just happened there? Oh my god. We could somehow, maybe, if I if I droop that the right way. But that's so hard though. But I could just I could just do this. You ready? So remember, 85 up, and then let's just go like this. Ready? Oh, my God. If this hits, if this hits, that might be game. If it doesn't hit, that's going to cost me dearly. No! Too much by a little bit. Maybe, like, the bottom of it will hit him, but no, man. I got greedy. I got greedy, and that's what happens. Okay. Oh, my God. Well, that just changed up the whole game. We're literally going to be sitting around. This is ridiculous. What the heck? Was that, like, pinger, but not... Was that, like, not mini pinger, just pinger? That was crazy. Okay, here we go. Sparkler. Oh, there we go. Direct hit on the sparkler. I'll take that. Wow, that actually did, like, just jump right into him. And, ooh, question is, who's going to go for that armor? Wow, he's got some crazy attacks. He has some really crazy attacks. Okay, um, what could I do that's, like, really good? Let's hit him with another sparkler, obviously. Because we don't want to... Not while well, we still have that line of sight there. Wow, 63. Man, we would be winning right now if I didn't go for that greedy double damage attack. Wait, how many of that... How many of that pinger things does he have? Okay, let's see. I wonder if the multi-nade will... What'll happen here? We'll bounce off there. Perfect! That's exactly what I was hoping would happen. Oh my god. See, now we're getting to the heavy, heavy hitters. Now we're getting to the super heavy hitters here. Alright, what you want? Put a flame right on this guy. Direct shot. Look at this. Oh my god, from right there? That's gonna be bad. 41 damage for him. I'd say a GG on that. Um... Oh, that Gravies. Gravies is really good up close. All right. M4 time. This is hilarious. How this is literally just heads up combat right here. 66 in the M4 was yet. 409 to 446. Man, this is going to be good. This is going to be a very good round. I could already tell. Uh, okay, what do we want? Uh, we could... I could just rampage him. Oh, he's got the shuriken. He's got the shuriken going. Go away. Oh, it's going to be bad. That's what we needed. That is precisely what we needed. Okay, and then this, I think anyway, it'd be like 185 probably to hit him, but hit him with that rampage there. Ricochet bat. They literally didn't even come back. It only did 30. I mean, that's fine, but I thought it would... I definitely thought that would ricochet back. Uh, okay. Well, wow. Okay, talk about a good lock. I'm gonna do sweeper here, just get a good gauge of where exactly he's at. That should land behind him a little bit. Oh, barely though. That's That was a very good gauge. Um, all right, let's see. He got 20 armor, 50. Wow, he got some good weapons there. Okay. Oh, my God. We could bullfrog right on him, though. That's going to be game-changing. Wait a minute. What is that? Wow. Going for the most ridiculous bounder through the portals. Okay. I see what you want. I see it. Oh, my God. No way. No way to just sneak that. Okay. Well, I have a plan, too, then. Growler time. This By the time it hits him, that's going to grow grow a ton. You ready? Come on. Maybe not that much. 24. What is he at? He's at 365 total, and I'm at 361 total. Whoa. This is this is about as close as it's going to get, to be honest with you. Here we go, though. Bullfrog time. Land this right on his head. 
This is going to be a game-changing hit. If this does as much as it should, which is around like 100 or so, that's it. No, Bullfrog's going the wrong way. No way it's going the wrong way. You can't be doing that to me. Yes, it hit. 93. Perfect. That's exactly what we needed. Oh, and he left his hole. He was stuck in a hole and he just left it. So now we're going to have to come up with a new strategy. A new plan. It's a new dog. Oh my god, no. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Oh, this thing? Not the Buzzy Bees. A two time Dude, I need to know what that Buzzy Bee attack is because that's a little bit ridiculous. Um, Let's see. If I drop a carpet bomb right in there, that might... Might just do it right there. That's definitely going to hit him. I just don't know for how much. Wow! 42 dropped on him. That's pretty he Oh my god, he's moving right onto me. Why'd he do that? What, what is that? Sand? Or oh, flame? Flame is doing? Okay. Okay, well you could use your flame. And I'll... Bone arrow! For a super heavy hit. What is that? What is that? One sec. We're up by five, but he goes first. So it's not... Doesn't mean too much to us. All those minions, so that's brutal. Okay, oh my god. Yes! Yes, we readjusted. We readjusted heights. So now what I can do is... I could just flame him from there. Oh, wow, this is going to be heavy. If I flame him there... All these attacks. I feel like so much is riding on this next move. Um, what about Needler? Whoa! I think that was the right call. That was definitely the right call. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh my god, that could have been bad. Okay, there we go. Oh, he's gonna grab whatever that is next turn. I hope it's not more armor. He doesn't need it. He really doesn't need it. 13, 51 to 109. He's getting the armor, no. One supply drop, five armor, and a four, okay, a four leaf clover is fine. That's lucky. So he only got five armor from that. We're good. We're good, just barely. Um, I could do a shrapnel in there. If I, if I nail this shrapnel, he might be dead. But it is such a hard hit to get this stick in there. Oh my god, and it sticks! And that does it for round number one! Yes! There we go! Overpowered weapons, overpowered health, overpowered everything. We'll be right back around round two, everybody. Alright, here we go, everybody. We're hopping into a second big round here. GG'd him the first time. I want to give him another chance, though, because that was, that was a really close game. Like, this guy is good. I, I, I like it. I think we're about... I would honestly say me and this person are about at the same skill level, uh, judging off that last round, because that was very close. So I'm kind of happy about that. I want to face him again. Uh, let's see what we can do here, though. What's a good, like, first... I have, like, no good gauging attacks. Uh, I guess Ghost Bomb, because, I mean, that's pretty difficult to miss. Uh, watch as I miss this completely. So I guess we'll Ghost Bomb at first. Plus, I find Ghost Bomb gives a good high crit rate. And I don't know if that's... It could be my imagination, because I think the crit rate for all weapons is the same. But does anyone else out there have that feeling? Because I definitely get it all the time, where, like, I just feel like it crit hits more often than not. Well, either way, interesting start, and oh no, that's bad for us. That whole little drop there. Two. That. One, two. That'd probably still not even reach. It might be too much. That's rough. It's a rough position we're in here. Um... What if I grand finale and move that to three like that? Let's try it like right there. I think I have a feeling that might be, but I did I moved it around so much. It's a little much, a little much. But luckily for us, grand finale does move. And you're not gonna get more than 40 damage on one guy with grand finale. A lot of crit hits and stuff. So I, I would say that's a pretty good shot. I think that was a very, very good attempt there. Oh no. Can yeah, it's overshot though. Solid attempt. And whoa, that's a lot of them though. Is that what is that? A V? That must be the upgrade of Mini-V. It just, like, becomes, like, a Super-V. One, two, three, probably. I'd say that's, like, about three. Let's drop a bouquet on him. Oh, I think that's perfect, actually. Hopefully. That is literally the perfect shot there. 44. All right. All right. I'll take that. Let's see. Don't move. Oh, he's moving again. This guy loves to move. He loves to make sure you can never get a lock on him. Like, I appreciate that. He's a, a worthy adversary for sure. Oh, no. No, this python, it could deal nearly nothing, or it could be... Okay, good, it was a nearly nothing. Sometimes when you drop a python on someone's head, it's like GG, like 100-something damage. He got very lucky there, or he got very unlucky there, to be honest. We got very lucky. Oh my god, yep. There we go. I'll do a little more than 30. That's pretty pathetic, and that's all it's gonna do. And then it bullfrogs me for 28. That essentially did 4 damage as a frog, so that was... 
Oh, that was a bad turn. That was the definition of a bad, bad turn. Oh, no, no. Oh, he's hoverballing from right there. That's smart. That's very smart. Okay. Well, we're going to have to get some, some good in there then on him. Because he's using these all these smart moves on us. No way! The backfire shrapnel. Okay, we didn't hurt ourselves, though. Okay, now we gotta go back to comeback town. Because we are just getting ripped off left and right. Okay, he just put himself in a bad position. He put himself in a very bad position. Here we go, and... Mega Digger in the same spot. There we go, that's... See, we needed something like that. Unfortunately, with this track, so he can move pretty easily. So, he's not gonna stay down there, I doubt. But, still, still very good. Oh my god, he's, he's, did he just... He's going the other way. He's making a mad dash for, for the armor. No way. He's going to get it, too. He's going to get it. Unless we don't have enough reach. The problem, the reason why I didn't go for it is I, don't, I didn't think we had enough reach. But, and now we definitely can't because we can't climb up that wall there. Um, okay, let's see what cool attacks we can do here to him. From this close, I wonder if quicksand would be a good attack or not. I actually don't know. Let's see. Nope, because apparently it glitches. Look at that line. I hate that weapon because it goes through his thing. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Um, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Wow. It's very rare that those things overshoot. I find so that's yeah. Even he goes. Let me. I'm gonna type in. Oh my god. <laughs> Dang, that was bad luck on his part, and then that was just bad shooting on my part. Dang, well, we got a Mad Birds at least. Dang, he's getting all the armors and stuff, dude. He really is. This is gonna be bad for me. Uh, there we go, Angry Bird. I'll take it. I'll take 40 damage. And now we do have a Clover. Oh, no, not Tadpoles. Go away. Or Frogs. This is Frogs. He's up by 60. He might win this tiebreaker round, in which case we're going to have to go to another round. There we go. Six damage. Ah, see, that attack is all based on luck, so you ne really don't ever know what you're going to get. But wait, oh, we got a new weapon after this turn. This could be deadly. This this could, this could be game-changing. Portal guns, rampage, multi-nade. Wow, that actually is going to be a, a game-changing one right here, especially if we can get a multi-nade to drop in on this. Too much, too little, the perfect amount. Maybe. Only 40, though, so maybe not the perfect amount. But 40 is still good. Oh, my gosh. He's so close to us, though. No, not that curtains one. Those curtain ones are really good. All right, he's got 100 damage on us. Um, 100 damage is kind of severe, but we do have this little portal gun here. There we go. I'll take 50 guaranteed. Please give me the crit for 100. If you give me the crit for 100, then we're tied. No, 50, okay. Asking for too much. But he is stuck in that hole there, and we do have the bullfrogs on him. Which one is this? Oh, it's like the Hammer of Dawn thing. Okay. Okay, here we go. Ready, though? Yes! Him being stuck in that little pit there is all we need. But now if that bullfrog hits him, too, it's not going to hit him. Went the wrong way. 51. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Wait, quicksand. Quicksand from right here might do the trick. Oh, but with that Mega Digger, that's going to throw us off. So much calculations go into this game. It's such a stressful game. It really is. Okay, let's see here. The saga continues on this guy. I love getting in matches like this 1v1s. I usually just play these for fun when I'm doing it. But, you know, like, this is actually, like, really cool to me. Like, being able to face off against someone like this of similar level in a 1v1. 33, okay. Okay. Oh, it's going to be bad. I don't even know what to use, but it's bad. I can already tell. 45, okay. Quicksand, here we go. Ready? I've never done it that close, but oh my god, that's the one. That's what we needed, 65. I can't wait to level up quicksand and find out what's inside of that. It's got to be incredible, whatever it is. Oh, that's going to be so deadly. No, that could have been a lot worse. We're at 205, he's at 306. So he's still like 100 up. And the problem is we're running out of good attacks here. I have a bad feeling he's probably got this one in the bag. But obviously we're going to keep trying. Oh, after that big mess up. No, never mind. Wow, 105. Never mind, I take it back. We just took the lead in that one hit. We just got so lucky, and then, oh, a heavy asteroids hit. Well, we barely took it back, though. Wow! Talk about a game-changing maneuver there. Um, all right, what's, like, silly balls from this close, maybe? Maybe? Yeah, there we go. 
But not enough though, only 19. Was that put him at 182 to 180? Okay, he's up by two. Very good match. Oh, and he missed all of those. He missed all of those. Okay, now this is where the game can be changed. We get some lucky spikers in. 40? 40 is good. 40 is good. Okay. Oh, he had another like mega fleet thingy. Or just fleet, whatever it's called. I think it's heavy fleet, maybe. 20, 34. Okay, fountain. Let's try a fountain of youth here. And we get new weapons after this next turn. New weapons after this next turn is so serious, man. This is so competitive, dude. 20 rounds this has taken. Oh, good fountains. Very good fountains. Okay, what's my new attack? Okay, we gotta be strategic here. 74 damage. If I have anything that can do 74, please be like a mega digger, mega digger. No mega digger. I don't see anything that can do 74 damage here. Shrapnel, if I can land that. Oh my god. Gotta move back a bit here. I'm taking a huge risk here because it's a roller. I th there it is! Oh my god, no! He's gonna survive with 10. He's gonna survive with 10. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. GG? No. No. What's he got? He's got a sniper, doesn't he? Oh my god, what is that? What is that? What is that? <gasps> we survived with eight. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Um. Oh, what the heck? Okay. Okay, we gotta we gotta make a move here. Um Okay, deep breath strum. You only need to do ten damage. Ten damage. Let's do jammer. It's moving on back. Right there. Yes! Just barely. And the stress is over, my friends. So that's gonna do it for this awesome one versus one battle. An epic, epic shell shock showdown. If you enjoyed, click that like button. Be sure to subscribe as well. And we'll see you all next time for some more epic shell shock. Thanks for watching, my friends.